rather than a, a context of, you know, authority and obedience and pu- rule breaking and punishment, we create the context of conflict resolution of really a community of care that mm. that is the context for why we are addressing things that you know have that feel off so we use the the umbrella of restorative justice as a, a mm. framework for how we handle conflict resolution that is essentially you know most of the schools i know the school that you know, schools that i grew up going to most traditional schools Really, their way of handling discipline is based off the criminal justice system. Right. Uh, we need to find out uh, what law was broken, who's guilty, and what should the punishment be. Mm-hmm. Of course, completely leaving out the victim in this sense, where restorative justice, we're asking who was hurt physically, emotionally, who is responsible for that injury, and what can they do to repair or mm-hmm. restore from that from that injury that was caused. And so we're giving them the opportunity to create healing. So we use, you know, our staff is trained in nonviolent communication or Mm -hmm. conscious languaging. We use that and we use that to model so that eventually we're, we're, we're passing off these tools, you know, in the way that we model our, our communication and conflict resolution so that they can more and more be empowered to solve their own issues when they when they come up or they have mm-hmm. a disagreement or someone's toes metaphorically or otherwise have been stepped on. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> this is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.